What is up guys, it is Reigns of Games here, and I am back with another episode of Super Smash Land. Today, we are going to go ahead and hop into arcade mode to try out Kirby, and then finish it off with Mario. Yes, so, Kirby's a pretty nice character in this game. The CPUs play really good with him, which is not necessarily an amazing thing, but, um... Pretty, it's pretty good, pretty good. But, yes. So, if you don't know, if you didn't watch the previous episode, um, Super Smash Land is a Smash Brothers remake that's meant to be played like it was on a Game Boy. It's not a real Game Boy ROM, it's not a real Game Boy game, but it's, uh, it's its own game trying to emulate the Game Boy feel with the green screen and stuff like that because you know get that out of there but yes this game is extremely addicting and it just for some reason this game got me so hyped for smash brothers 3ds like just the thought of being able to take smash brothers wherever you go that's just enough to just push me over the edge like i really want it now like even more than normal and we all know how all that works out, because I am addicted to Smash. Just don't have a capture card, so I can't record it. No. Come on. Go ahead, die. Go ahead and die, a little Mario. Can't hit him. There we go. Yeah. I don't like this stage, because you can get caught underneath the moving platform, and there's no way for you to get up. But, that is... A problem in of itself. Uh, so Kirby plays pretty well. I like the way Kirby plays. I think he's one of my favorites to play as, besides one of the secret characters, which I think I revealed last episode, but whatever. I, yeah, I prefer to play as Mega Man because Mega Man is kind of OP in this hack. ROM, not ROM, this, this game. Although I've heard otherwise from it from in the new game because I heard that Mega Man's probably one of the worst characters in Smash Brothers 4, but there's still balancing going on and Sakurai I I trust and Sakurai we trust. So now we get to face the 14 Pikachu's. Oh boy, still haven't lost a heart a life yet. Cannot electrocute a rock, so. Go like this. Just. Nope, nope. There we go. Get some damage done there. Noticed uh, just a little bug, I guess. Um, Pokemon. Wait, or when your trainer. Oh god. Uh, Vaporeon. Uh, okay. Uh, I noticed when uh, you're in the group thing. The CPUs take huge damage from you. Well, not damage, but they take a lot more knockback from you. They don't take it from this electrode. That's one thing I've noticed. Like, I've done this enough to see electrode a lot, and I gotta kill all these. Ooh, there we go. See that? See that? Not bad. Come on. Nope. I don't wanna die. Nope, I died. It's pretty brutal, so... I don't blame myself, except I probably should because it's like what I did, but, um, yes. So we have one left, get out of here. Just get out, just get out. What, what just happened? What just happened? Okay. Like closed it out for me, that was dumb. Out of here. Stupid. There we go. Oh, look at cute little Kirby. Kirby's so cute. Okay, so now we move on to Link. Okay, not bad, not bad. Again, Link don't play Kirby very good. Or the computers don't play Link very good. What am I talking about? I can't even talk. I can't. I can't even talk. 
Wow. Um, the computers often blow themselves up with their own bombs, which I personally do not find very, um, convenient. Okay, well that was a little bit easier than I expected. But, okay, Link is taken care of. And that leaves us with the final boss, Mega Man. Okay, Mega Man, pretty OP, gotta say. And I'm sure there's a bunch of you wondering, how do you unlock Mega Man? Well, to unlock Mega Man, you must complete the arcade mode with, uh, all with, the uh, with all the four original main characters. I can't talk today because I'm, um, um, uh, uh. But you must complete arcade mode with the four original characters to unlock it. And that can be extremely difficult considering that Mario sucks. In my opinion, that is. I'm sure some people love him, but not me. I don't personally. Because he just doesn't have the right moves for me, and it took forever, and just like, eh. Mega, but Mega Man's pretty cool. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Uh, if we're lucky, we might have actually unlocked the, uh, other secret character during this. Who knows? <laughs> I know I'm just ground pounding to win, but it's pretty it's a pretty good tactic. Ow. Okay. Well maybe not that good anymore. Get out of here. Okay. Just pretend that you're dead, Mega Man. Just pretend, just for a little. But this is actually a surprisingly old game, and they captured Mega Man so well. Like, they used his leaf guard exactly, either, like, well, N Nintendo either copied this game using Mega Man's leaf guard, or something, because they, like, did me that leaf guard right there. They did it so well, compared to the actual Smash 4. Get out of here. I don't know why I'm not focusing right now. He'd be dead right now. Yeah, see, there we go. That was easy. But, yes, that is how you beat Super Smash Land Arcade Mode as Kirby. Just down B the entire time. Yeah, we got the water-bending Pokemon Vaporeon. So, how I unlocked her, it... Uh, Vaporeon could be a boy or girl. How I unlocked it was... In the Saffron City stage, if you ever see Vaporeon, kill it immediately. If you kill it, then you will unlock it as a playable character. You can see it's right here. Hi. But now, God, here we go. We gotta do Kurt. We have to do Mario because we just do. I regret every decision made. I really don't like Mario in this game. It's a very good, very few good moves. But yes, you can easily get some fireballs off for some easy damage. Then you can ground pound thing. Okay, not bad. But his up uh, B attack is really good. Nope, nope. But his recovery is bad. As, when I mean by up B, that's his recovery. But it being used as a recovery is really bad. It being used for damage. That was pretty good. Yeah. And it does quite a bunch. So. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Okay. There we go. Quite? Nope, not done. Not dead yet. Come on. There you go. Okay. Oh, come on, I can't hit it off. But, yes, it is extremely valuable. That move, his recovery, that is. 
see, I'm even having a tough time being with Mario because I don't like Mario. It's just not as good as someone like, oh, see, see, that recovery sucks. I might not even make it to Mega Man, it's, it's Mario is so bad. In my opinion, that is. But also, the Kirby is pretty difficult to beat. On, there we go. Okay. Also, I'm trying to vary his move choice, but if I just spam the same move, then it's different. Why does it, why does it keep going up there? There we go. Okay. Okay, then. There we go. So you see that? See how quick he flew off the stage? That is Mario's recovery. And it is strong, I will say. Okay, so now it's Mario versus Pikachu. Not bad, except on Mario. Which is why it is bad. Come on. Come on, go, Pikachu, go. Yes. Uh, but, yes. If you see Vaporeon come out of the place over there, make sure you attack it and kill it. Because if you do, and you complete the match, then you will be awarded with the water bending Pokemon. Okay, so. This always gave me problems. Why isn't it? There. There we go. So, what you want to do for this one, you just want to spam his up. Up B. Not that one, but his other one. That one. The one that looks like he's trying to like fist the air or something. I don't know. Whatever it is, it makes him. It makes all of the enemies fly off the stage. But they fly off pretty pretty easily, anyways. But so do I. So, because you know Mario is pretty bad, and I can't kill anyone because they won't stop attacking me. But it is what you must do to complete quest to achieving Mega Man, but yes, uh, here we go, um, so, there's a bug flying around in here, I hate it, it's so annoying, there we go, got him out, there we go, that is how it is done, gotta crack my knuckles up here, yes, um, so, yeah, we get to go on and face ourselves, which is pretty scary because I don't know. I don't like Mario in this game, so I don't know. I've, I've said it like a billion times, but yes. Uh... Yes, just get the combos in there. Just get the combos. Not bad. The delay between the hit that Mario delivers, the fireball, it's like atrocious. Like, it's just a little fireball, and you're like pausing. Oh yeah, he's so dead. See, that's how bad Mario's recovery is. So, yeah. Now we get to go on and face the final boss of this game after getting an amazing score of 26,000 already. 26,665. But that is nothing. So, we must kill Mega Man. Ooh, we got the first blood though. Or first damage, that is. Yes. Come on, why isn't he up being? No. No, stop. Stop. Yeah, they, the Mega Man's kind of OP a lot. Get him out of here. Get him out. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat him. So. Yeah. This is pretty much not going to happen. Uh, unless I get lucky. And it looks like I might get lucky. Holy crap. 
if I just hit him a couple times with the fireballs, get some easy damage off on him. Yeah. Maybe get the little upper hand real quick. Like, yeah. Got a little bit of damage on him. I might beat him. But it does take a lot of luck and careful strategy and not getting blown up by his bombs and attacking when I tell it to attack. Which can be a problem at times, but that is personally opinionated if that is a problem to you. Because it's actually not opinionated, it's just a personal problem if it is a problem for you. God, oh god, oh god, oh god. He's starting to actually like really hurt. He could still win this. It's never too late for, for Mega Man. Because he is pretty boss in this game. Fun fact, never played a Mega Man game in my life. No! See, that's how close you can get. You have less HP than he does. But, uh, such an interesting way to end off the episode with the game over. Anyways, <laughs> yeah. In the next episode, we I have I have a game that already has of Vaporeon and Mega Man unlocked. In the next episode, we will explore arcade mode as the two hidden characters, which are, by the way, pretty freaking good. So, yes, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.